Hi everyone, welcome to King TV. You ready? Da 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 da. You know why we're doing that, folks? Because it's Frank Sinatra, guys. Frank Sinatra is on tonight with uh, King TV. Brendan James, simply amazing, isn't he? Can I tell you, um, he is just absolutely phenomenal. His uh, vocal technique, um, just and even the way he portrays Frank Sinatra, Certainly. it's just literally amazing. You know, the way he places his hat on the side, he just comes out and just kicks his leg. That's Frankie to a T. I love it. I love it. That's a bit of a laid back uh, intro of it tonight. We're just sitting here, just chilling out because it's the man, old blue eyes himself. King's Kitchen. Of course, Derek J. And um, we have also Plastic EP doing our trivia as well. Um, once again, with all his amazing facts. All from the vault. I'm trying to sneak into his vault to see what he's got in there, but now, what will he do? He won't let you in. We'll get in there one day. <laughs> I can see him somewhere in the background there. Plastic EP. Let's continue here with old blue eyes. Frank Sinatra on King TV. to Plastic EP's Trivia. We're in the vault here. Plastic, you found Elvis, haven't you, from the oh, vault? I love Elvis. Dude, I found him in the vault. I had to bring him out on the show. And a double guitar. Oh, that's unbelievable. What haven't you got in this vault? I've got things that you wouldn't even believe. All right, let's move on right with the show. All right, let's get on with it today. I just want to ask you, which Elvis song had the lyrics, A Tiger? Do you know that one? Have a think. Well, that would have been Teddy Bear, wouldn't it? That's it. Let me be your Teddy Bear. Sing one line for us. I bet you bet. Let me be your loving Teddy, Teddy Bear. Bear. All right, move along. Okay, thank you. Okay, you know, outside Elvis's, outside Elvis's Graceland, they actually renamed the road. It used to be called Highway 51. And in 1971, they renamed it. Do you know what they renamed it? I was President Boulevard, is that correct? <laughs> ding, ding, I don't know how you no, That was an easy it. one. That I was don't an know easy how one. I actually bought the uh, number plate from there. It was called El Elvis Presley Boulevard. That's so a that's good why. thing. I want you to tell people that you actually bought 
his uh, wedding cake, a piece of the wedding cake, if you could tell him a little bit about uh, that. That's the next episode. Don't, don't spoil it for the viewers, please. Let's move on. Can I have a coffee with that? Yeah. Now, in 1935, you're going to tell me that Elvis was born, of course, in of January course. 1935. That's right. He had a brother. That's it. What was his brother's name? Well, he was born, still born, and his name was actually Jesse. And he was actually born first, and Elvis was born second. Very sad. Now, in the uh, where they're buried, actually, at Graceland, Elvis' body was uh, moved because a lot of people were just going there trying to steal the body. And uh, it was, I, I believe that the last time I saw it, it was his grandmother, Elvis, uh, his mother, and Vern, his father, on the side. And uh, when I went down there, it was just an amazing sight. The hairs on your arm just stand up. I know, it must be amazing to be there at Graceland. And they've got that sunroom at the back where they sit. And somebody reportedly on YouTube took a video and he claims that Elvis was in the back watching all the people going around the grave. Yeah, I wouldn't that? believe that. <laughs> Elvis is dead and buried. A lot of people wish he was born. He was still here, but he's not. Yeah, let's move along. Okay. Well, you know Elvis bought all his clothes from what favourite store? Now, you, you actually gave me a hint last week because we were talking about the, um, the Speedway, the Talansky Brothers. That's it? right. Yeah, that's it. Ding, ding, again. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Well, I do the Elvis shows. I should know a bit about Elvis. <laughs> well, you know a bit about Elvis. <laughs> Hang on a minute. It's the hotline again. What's up? It's uh, actually, uh, hang on, it's Brooke Star's mother. <laughs> she, Brooke, if you're out there, your mother wants you to get two milk, oh, some bread, goodness. and two donuts on the way home. Do you know why she wants the donuts? Can we, can we get on with the show? No, here? do you know why she wants the why donuts? Why does she want the donuts for, Danny? So she can have the donuts while she's watching the show. Oh, let's move on with the show. Plasti, I've got to drag you back into the show here, mate. You, you're moving at him. Well, basically, all I can say about Elvis is from the time Elvis started to, let's say, his later performances, he was concentrating during the 60s on his movies, on the soundtracks. But then, of course, as you know, from about 1968, he got serious back into the movie with a comeback special and, what, and whatever happened after that. And he put out some of the greatest songs, as you know. I'm sure you can elaborate on that. Oh, well, the greatest songs for, for me are Suspicious Minds and The Wonder of You and, you know, typical Elvis songs, but he did a lot of covers as well. Can, uh, Kentucky Rain, I actually wrote as one of the most underrated Elvis songs that was. Now, who wrote Kentucky Rain? From the top of my head, now you've, you've stumped me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kentucky Rain was actually written by a guy called Eddie Rabbit. Now, Eddie Rabbit had some great hits, and uh, he also did a lot of theme uh, songs. Do you know that, for, for movies? And do you know which one is the best one that I recall with Clint Eastwood? No, you've stumped me again. Every Which Way But Loose, another Eddie Rabbit song. That's the one with the monkey, isn't it? That's the one, it is. And uh, a lot of people won't, uh, won't remember what, what I'm talking about, but he also wrote, as I said, Kentucky Rain, yeah. and Eddie Rabbit back in uh, 1978 redid it and sang it himself. There's a bit of trivia from my side. That's excellent. Elvis has to go back into the vault, and I think that was uh, a great segment today. It was fantastic. A lot of people, a lot of people are saying that I cut you shorty. They do. That plastic, but they you know that, that's not true. Let's cross over for a commercial break. Hi everyone, welcome to the King's Kitchen. I'm Brooke Kotsis, and we've got here Derek J. And please tell me, what are we doing today? We're going to uh, again another. Uh, uh, dish which Elvis like called the pork bites, uh, somewhat dif a bit different. Yeah. So what they're going to do is pork bites. So something small or is it? Something... Yeah, it, it's going to be small. I yeah. got to cut them into little cubes. Okay. And was this something that he just snacked on? Do you think? So it's like this. Yeah, it's it's more <laughs> like a snack, right? Yeah. So we cut little pieces like this. Fantastic. And I've noticed here we've got some um, bread bread crumbs. crumbs as well. Yeah, that's a bit of a trade secret, but the. Oh, but don't uh, tell everyone. Keep your, <laughs> keep your voice low. No, all our viewers are going to enjoy. <laughs> this has some something different. You know, I, I, I couldn't. Uh, when I found out, I tried myself, and I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Dish. So what we are going to do, Brooke, is that uh, I'm going to cook the uh, cube pork, and later on while cooking. I'm going to make the batter yep. so that we can show our viewers how the batter how the is part, made. Yep. Yeah. So for the time being maybe. Brooke, while cooking, I'm going to add a touch of salt. Yeah. And also a touch of pepper. And like you said in the last few episodes, Elvis loved pepper. Yeah. 
Brooke, I'm going to let the pork cook now. Yep. Maybe you can leave that. Just have a look at the way I'm doing the batter. So we add a, add a bit of uh, plain flour. Plain flour. Oh, wow. There we go. Yep. Then add quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Again, a touch of salt. Bit of salt. And let me guess, pepper as well? A touch <laughs> of pepper. <laughs> Just only a touch of pepper because we have already added pepper there. Because you requested, I thought I might <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to add this. And I'm going to get the... I hope this is going to work. I hope this is switched on. So be careful with your beautiful dress there. Fantastic. So you mix it while I'm yeah. trying to break an egg. <laughs> I'll add that in there. And it's already looking that beautiful yellowy That's right. color. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is get the cooked uh, pepper from the uh, frying pan. Yeah. And then I'm going to mix that this, this, uh, yeah, I think we ought to add a touch of, because it has to be nice and thick, uh, broke. Yep. Because it's a bit thin. A bit thin. more flour, I think. So that the pork can have a good grip on the... Yep. It's all happening now. <laughs> <laughs> so do we just put the pork inside the batter? Inside as the well? batter. So it's that. already starting to get a little bit thicker, as, yeah, as right. you can see as well. Yeah. Okay, here we go. See there. Yeah. All right. Well, be careful. I'm wearing white. Derek. White. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I know that. Okay. I'm gonna rest this here. So Brooke, I got all the pork ready. I'm going to put it in the batter. Fantastic. There we go. All right. So it's in the batter. So what I'll do is, instead of you getting dirty with the batter, <laughs> I'm going to put it on the breadcrumbs. Yeah. All right. And you can just put the breadcrumbs on top of it. Fantastic. And then we can deep fry that. Mm. So we, I'm going to put this in a hot oil frying pan so and leave it only for maybe a minute or two just to get that nice crisp. brown crisp. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Here we go. Have a look. Oh, that is just fantastic. And then with this... See this oh, color look at broke? that already. Already? See how nice it comes? Already. Technically, it took only one minute. Literally. Not even. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, it's all done like this. See how nice Fantastic. it looks? Fantastic. Look at that. And it's got that crispy brown yeah. golden texture that you were talking yeah. about That's right. earlier. Now, there's another little job for you after we finish this. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to switch this off. All right, there we go. Now that we've gotten that out of the deep fryer, what's next? Well, you're going to follow what I'm doing here. Yeah. There's one in there. So we're so just pricking, pricking the yeah. pork. Pork bites. Pork bites, they call them Elvis's pork bites. Pork bites. Mm -mm. She loved this pork, didn't he? He really did. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Because of the bacon, you right. know. Yeah, he, so just layer upon layer upon layer. Yeah. Even with his breakfast, you know, he wanted bacon, jam and peanut. For breakfast? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Did he have diabetes? <laughs> <laughs> of course, he would have had, had the whole lot. Apparently, I was told, you know, when he was unveiled with all this uh, uh, the food he's having. Yeah. His chef went to the uh, 
to the hospital, slowly sneaked in uh, his uh, hot dog. <laughs> and I, I don't know how she did it. So the, he, Albus's chef snuck in hot dogs into the hospital? hospital. Oh my goodness. So apparently he, she didn't take one, she took five of them <laughs> because he's a big eater. He's, yeah, yeah, he is a yeah. huge eater. Yeah. Um, I think one more and then we're done. All right. Well, Derek, now that you've got this fabulous presentation, I think we should call forward Mr. Plastic EP. Hello, uh, Derek, and hello, Brooke. What, what are you doing what this time? I want Derek to make this at the end of the show for my lunch. I even brought a banana in case. <laughs> no, so, seriously, Derek, on a serious note, the food you do, everything you do on the segment is just fantastic. Thank Look, you. I don't even eat pork, but you know what? I'm going to try it. Yeah, give it a try. I'm going to try. You don't need pork. Yeah, no, no, no. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Brooke, you want to try of first? Of course. All right. Well, we'll grab one. Okay. Put it in Brand the sauce. There. Put in the sauce. I'll get a small one. <laughs> okay. Though you don't need pork. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. And Derek, try one. All right. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Very nice, Derek. Good job. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I've been Brooke. We've had Plastic EP. We've had Derek. And you've been watching The King's Kitchen. Bye for now. Welcome back to King TV. With me on the beautiful, I shouldn't say beautiful, but on the late night, bringing down your beautiful people. Thank you, sir. It's beautiful. You know, it's a pleasure to hear you on stage here. And your Frank Sinatra was essentially a legend. Thank you. That man, the wedding singer, he was serious. He was going off for hearing you. Can you tell the folks back at home, what, how did you start? How long ago? Oh, I was out about 18 years ago. Uh, I was over in the UK and learned a whole bunch of Frank Sinatra songs. A bit of Neil Diamond, a bit of Johnny Cash as well. So I'll throw in a few surprises and then came back and uh, stuck into the morning show. Mate. I tell you what, you did some fantastic Johnny Cash. I heard it, but we couldn't. We didn't have enough time, but, but what we're putting together... You're not missing much about that one to be right around here. It's true. No, it's not true. He's fantastic. We're going to put a legend show on very soon for a, a massive show here. I think we're taking it to the Palladium at the Crown. We're going to have 12 performers, and we're going to compete against the Palms and believe it or not, but I think we've got the better performers. We'll continue on the show right here on King TV. Thanks, mate.
Peter, seriously, he is just absolutely amazing. Um, what did you think of that rendition? Well, all the guests have been amazing on King TV. Nothing but the best uh, artists here on King TV. He was fantastic. I, I used to uh, have uh, Brendan perform with me many years ago on stage. And I'll tell you what, he, he can't get any better because it's simply amazing. The voice, the moves, the costumes, everything about it. The crowd gave him a standing ovation. I know, I know. I wish they gave me a standing ovation, but no, <laughs> he got a standing ovation. Well deserved. It's been fantastic again. I cannot wait to see what's um, in store for us next week. It just gets bigger and better here on King TV. I'm Peter Triantis. I'm Brooke Starr, and, and this has been King, King TV. TV. <laughs>